A pleasant good morning. Welcome to Coach's Corner, live from the McDonald's on Madison's Hilltop. We do this every Saturday morning on the McDonald's on Clifty Drive, right across the street from Madison Consolidated High School. And as we do pretty much every year, the last three Saturdays before the Madison Regatta, we are discussing more activities with the Madison Regatta. We're going to be talking with Carla Thornton, uh, who is in charge of the RC boats out at Kruger Lake. That's going to be taking place June the 30th. And then Madison Regatta President Matt True going to be joining me this morning as well. But right now, we're going to start things off with Miss Carla Thornton. Carla, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Um, so, uh, RC boats, talk about this. This is something that, you know, people have probably heard of, but what are they exactly? <laughs> well, our club has been here in Madison area for about 30 years now, so they've been around a while. Um, we, since the early 90s, we've been racing out at Kruger Lake, uh, right inside the JPG gatehouse, or gates there. Um, we have currently about 25 members in our club, and um, mostly men. We have about four women, three wives, one daughter. Um, but we race once a month out at Kruger Lake, and our big district event is coming up next Saturday, June 30th. And that's always, you always make it to where it's during kind of a regatta festival? Yes, we call it the Dennis Hope Memorial Mini Regatta. Um, this year it's presented by Serve Pro. They're our title sponsor. They help us out with trophies. Um, Dennis Holt was a big member in our um, club and getting it started, and he loved everything regatta. Um, so we kind of named this one after him. We used to race the weekend of regatta, but it got kind of hectic and busy, and then when the regatta event started happening more through the weekend, we moved to the weekend right before the regatta. And, you know, this is an event that not a lot of people may know about, but it's something I've been out there to see it. It's actually a really, really cool event, and it's very, very different from, you know, the actual unlimited hydroplane racing because this is a very, very fast-paced event. Yeah, it's, it's pretty fast-paced. We run, um, right now we have 55 boats registered for the one-day race. So we will have about um, three or four rounds of heat racing, about 12 different classes of boats. Half of them will be your, like, hydro boats boats like you see on the river, the GPW model boats, um, the hydroplane unlimiteds and limited type boats. Um, they run off nitromethane so they can reach speeds up to about 70 miles an hour in the bigger classes. Um, the beginner classes start about 30 miles an hour um, and then the rest will be gas powered boats which are um, like weed eater engines. They run off gas you'd put in your car and um, most of those are more of the offshore style boats um, you might see those like the performance boats that were on the river a few years ago racing mm -hmm. the longer skinnier boats and then the biggest class probably is the classic thunderboat which is the old shovel nose type um, boats that they used to run back in the 60s and 70s now this event what time does it start and is this kind of an all-day thing it, it's a pretty much all-day event um, the guys will arrive early in the morning set up get everything ready um, we hold what's called a driver's meeting where we just go through the rules and um, talk about the course and the event itself um, answer any questions they have and then we get boats on the water about 9 a.m. and they start racing all throughout the day and we usually wrap up anywhere between 5 and 6 p.m. now this is free to the public correct y yes it is and how many people typically come out for this every year um, depending on the weather it's been kind of we've had anywhere from um, just about 20 or 30 spectators to close to 300 at one point in time um, we have Lots of shoreline where people can just put up a lawn chair, they can put up a canopy for shade, drop a blanket down, just sit and watch for any amount of time you want to. We have um, bathroom facilities that we have out there, and we have um, the Southwestern band boosters that will come out and sell concessions for us. And, you know, something like this, you know, a lot of people like myself, we grew up with unlimited hydroplane racing, so some people, it's, it, would, it might be hard for them to get into this because it isn't the same. How do you try to get people that are that are only hydroplane racing, unlimited hydroplane, into this? Well, that's actually where a lot of our uh, members started. They, they like the boats on the water. You don't get enough of it. It's only here once a year. You know, we used to be able to go to Evansville to see it and that type of thing. But now you have to travel to see yep. this type. So it, it really built from an interest of the, the hydroplanes. Um, we have what's called a eight scale class, which is an actual eight scale of boats that actually ran um, in unlimited hydroplane races so that's a popular class and the guys you know make up the boats exactly like um, the the boats that you see we have um, in our club we have anything from like the old vintage um, 
60s and 70s boats to current boats like the Graham Trucking. Um, I think we have a 2012 Matrix boat oh. that races. Oh. And then in, um, in one of the other clubs that we run with in Evansville, they have the, the new whole set, miss, or the Home Street Miss Madison. Mm -hmm. So um, those are very popular boats. And those guys love hydroplane racing, so they just kind of take it as their sport. Um, it, it's a pretty big deal nationwide so we're glad to be a part of that you, the fact that you just said whole set miss madison you're going way back <laughs> you want to talk about whole there, set there miss are madison. some of those that run there's lots actually in our district um, which is all of indiana and kentucky a lot of the boats um, that we see are versions of the miss madison you have the oberto the whole set um, the tony the tiger runs oh, all wow. those of your favorite boats probably wow. that you've seen are running somewhere on a lake in indiana kentucky illinois ohio all those areas that we visit and you know something like this it's it's something new it, may, it might be a way i know one of my friends went out and he lives down in florida and they have rc boats down in florida and he saw there was a an event down there mm -hmm. and he saw it and then he knew because i had talked to him when i was at school about hydroplane racing and he texted me and he's like dude how is hydroplane racing different i said if you thought that was awesome you need to see a hydroplane race well he came up and saw one a few years ago and he said it was incredible it, and it was the small boats that got him interested yeah yeah and so i guess it goes both ways yeah. <laughs> if you see one you you like what you see and you and you want to get more information so you go find out where you can see more boats run and our boats run locally here at kruger lake like we said and then we travel to evansville we travel to salina ohio um, Sellersburg, we run a race at Huber, so that's a fun one to come watch too. But we race locally two times a year for our district and then once a month. So, but this is actually our biggest event. This is, will be the one that has the most boats come in from out of town. Um, like I said, we have 55 boats registered right now. And um, since it's so close to Regatta, lots of people are interested in, and we're hoping to get more people out interested in and want to see what's going on. Well, and you know, it's, it's kind of, this event kind of kicks off Regatta week because you have that, I think you have one of the pageants that day and then after that you suddenly have a whole week and we'll discuss more about the events with Matt here in a moment but uh, it's kind of interesting it's kind of setting the bar when you all got to kick off regatta a week well it's it's fun to get everybody kind of in the mood and and get excited about powerboat racing because it's it's extremely different than any other sport so it's it's exciting exhilarating um, people like to see the side-by-side -side racing they like to see the crashes um, <laughs> for us it's a little bit um, hectic we don't like to see the crashes because you've torn something up um, but luckily since we're remote controlled you know no one's injured really in the crashes so mm -hmm. um, just put a piece of tape on it and go <laughs> and Carl we've already chatted about a lot about this event and also you are going to be down on Friday correct is that yeah we have a group of volunteers that are going to come down to the river Friday um, I believe it's from noon to four we're going to set up on Vaughn Drive with our boats um, so spectators can come by and look at them ask questions get a feel um, see what it's all about and are you surprised at how many people actually are very intrigued by the remote control boats especially I'm guessing when you have those vintage like the Kellogg's Frosted Flakes Jasper engine and transmission the Alberto Miss Madison whole set Miss Madison DeWalt everything are you kind of impressed to see how many things like that are there um yeah it's I mean there's no limit to what the guys will do um, those classes are the classes where you see the boats that you've actually seen run mm -hmm. you know like on the river or um, out west so it's exciting for us to see it's exciting for the spectators to see because they're watching like a mini version of our Madison regatta from the past usually mm -hmm. you know mo most people have the the past seasons of the boats that they run and the spectators love it now what is your organization called exactly we are the prop walkers model boat club and we are locally here in madison but we have um, members from columbus sellersburg and louisville um, that come to race with us now if is this can anyone sign up for this club i mean what do you have to do if you want to sign up for the club um yeah anyone can sign up for the club in order to race you have to be um, a member of the international um, model boat club and they are um, impba dot um, net is where you'd find that information um, it's a membership fee you pay for the year and then you can race at any of the IMPBA races um, for our race um, our club we just charge a local dues just to kind of help cover the cost of like the portalets and the you know the things that we have to have sure. to put on a race and when you see this I'm guessing many of the uh, 
drivers that come from out of town, I'm guessing they then want to go down and they want to watch the Unlimiteds. I'm going to take a while uh, to guess there. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll have several people that will come to our race on, on Saturday, and then they will drive home back to Illinois, Wisconsin, Evansville, um, those areas. And then they'll come back the next weekend for the regatta because they're here to see the Unlimiteds, too. They, they are so into it. They love it. And, you know, an event like this, it's been going on for so many years. Uh, what is it about it that keeps you involved with it? Um, <laughs> my husband, for one, he got me in it about 10 years ago, um, and it's just exciting. I actually race um, one of the smaller classes, and um, another wife of a friend of ours that races, we kind of have a competition with each other, so we kind of like that little um, little bit of competition. And I I think just the, the thrill of it, the um, knowing that you can go out and be head-to-head -head competing with someone and, you know, be standing right next to them as friends, it's kind of exciting. Well, and... It, it is just such a different thing to see, and I think that's why it's so difficult, I think, for some people, because they're like, well, we only want to see the Unlimiteds, but I think if people really gave this a chance, they'd realize how exciting this is. Yeah, because, like I said, we have 12 different classes, so there's lots of different styles of boats, lots of different speeds. Um, you'll see them doing different different things. Um, some of the boats that get up to top speeds have actually flown out of the water, done a complete 360 flip, landed back on the water and kept racing. Some of them have won the race. I mean, so that's pretty exciting to see when they're flying out of the water and then getting back on the water, finishing the race. And, and like I said, you know, these boats can take a little bit of a hit so you can side by side race and bump off each other and keep going. And it's just the competition of it and the thrill of watching them um, you know, compete around the race course. Yeah, what else do you have for us and you want to talk about about this event? Um, well, I just would really like to encourage anyone to come out that has never been there to see it. We have lots of people that come out um, year after year that say, I never knew this was out here. And like I said, we've been doing it for almost 30 years, you know, at Kruger Lake. So we're out there. Um, usually it's the Saturday right before regatta is what we're kind of stuck at now. Um, our boats kind of run just like the regatta does. We run in heat races. Um, you have two and a half minutes to get your boat on the water and at that end of that two and a half minutes your boat has to cross the start line and your your heat starts. Um, we run six laps on most of the classes so you'll see um, you know catching up and passing and and all that kind of stuff in that six laps and whoever finishes you know their six laps first is going to be the winner excellent well this is a great event i encourage anyone to go out and see it and again now where is this located at where is kruger lake located at once again we are just inside the um, jefferson proving ground gate entrance you'll come into the entrance and it's just a little bit ways on the left you'll see lots of canopies and things set up and you're welcome to just park anywhere out there um, that you can find and prop up your lawn chair and sit and have a spell. The guys in the pit area um, will be working on their boats, but if they're behind the tents and under the tents, you can come talk to them, ask them questions. They love to talk about the sport. Excellent. Well, Carla, thank you very much, and we appreciate you coming in, and best of luck next week. Thank weekend. you for having us. now joined by Madison Regatta President Matt True. Matt, good morning. Good morning, Jordan. How are you, sir? I'm great. You're a lovely day outside. So. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. <laughs> you and I love rough and soccer in this weather, right? Absolutely. Yeah, we really do. So uh, it's, we don't realize it keeps getting closer and closer. We're two weeks away from Regatta, Matt. We, we are two weeks away. And, and uh, you know, it's funny. The, the, the clock never stops. Time never stands still. And, and all the things that you have to do, you just keep plugging away and, and, and hope that we're, we're getting it all and not letting things fall through the cracks. And, you know, the Regatta this year, last year, obviously it was a little different because you had the Grand Prix Worlds which I thought was a great show last year yes, it was. and then you had a four boat exhibition for the Unlimiteds um, but still I, I heard everything good about last year a lot of people said it was one of the better regattas that they had been to in a while but this year one thing that you have said this will be a points race this year yeah this is this is a points race for us for sure um, you know we, we looked at our numbers to try to decide whether we could really decipher whether a points race made a difference in our ticket sales uh, we, we thought that it did um, so you know that's what some of the fans decided that they wanted so that's what we're bringing back so you know we're, we're asking we're giving you what you want so come down check it out and spend the weekend with us and, and let's have a good time and unfortunately I know we're you're saying as far as what boats come that's kind of just a well we'll see because it's out, kind of out of your control it, it absolutely is out of our hands and a lot of people have asked a lot of the newspaper uh, people are putting stuff out and, and they want to get the information out and we and we want to get advertising to, to boat teams and all that bit to you know to, to let people know who's coming and you know which teams to get behind which one they're gonna pick for the for the weekend all that 
bit, and, and we've just not got that information from H1 yet. So, Well, and hopefully we will soon. Obviously, H1 has a very busy weekend right now, their first race down in Alabama. Uh, you know, you said in the Madison Courier the other day, you said uh, wristband sales, you said, are very, very good right now, correct? Wristband sales are very good. We've done uh, a, a lot of pre-sales this year on the Internet, so that's helped us out a lot. And, um, you know, obviously, I mean, we're, we're an income-dependent, you know, organization, sure. and uh, and it's all volunteers. So, um, you know, we're, we're trying as best we can to, 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 to give people what we can give them as much as we can uh, and pay the bills at the same time. And, you know, how are the sales going for the tarps, the canopies along the river? Tarps are going really well. You can get, you can get really about everything that we have to offer online right now. Okay. Okay. And uh, tarps are going well, RV sales are going well, and uh, so I, I would encourage you that if, if you're waiting, then you probably should hurry up if, if you want either of those things. And, you know, obviously we ch you changed the wristbands this year because there's one wristband that's 20 and that's for racing only, and then there is the 35, which is for the racing and the music festival. <coughs> what was, you know, the logic behind that again? We wanted to give fans options. You know, everybody wants options, and they want to pick what they want to do, and they want to custom make, um, you know, their weekend for themselves, and we wanted to offer that to them. If you're interested in, in music only, well, we want you to come. We want you to watch a, a great concert series. We, we've, we've spent a lot of money, and we have a, a great band lineup for the weekend, mm -hmm. and some people like music. You know, there's some people who like boats, and what we're trying to do is put the two together to see if both of them can't spawn fans for each other. And I think any time you throw music in, especially in this town, that's huge, because whenever you see, we were you and I were both down at River Roots a couple weeks ago, and we saw how many people come down there and you throw in the Madison Regatta which so many tourists come from out of town I think that could just make it even better absolutely and again we're, we're just trying to offer as many options to people to get them to come down and come back and and, and I've got to say honestly this is in my mind Madison Regatta has always been I'm gonna I'm gonna dub this Madison's biggest reunion mm -hmm. and uh, people come from all over the country you know and if they're gonna come back you know to town I mean we, you're seeing people that you've known all your life you know once a year you take the time you have a good time with each other and and, uh, and we and we want to offer them entertainment options um, but at the same time we want to make sure this thing exists and keeps going so that so that we can still be the have that once a year reunion for everybody to come back in town and, and take part I turned I, I turned 27 on Wednesday and I have straight up said I've never missed a regatta I never intend to my little brother has missed one in his life he went on vacation with a friend and he told me we, he and I were talking about this a couple weeks ago he said never again will I miss this regatta I mean to, the, to so many people this event is just this is something that they have to have well this is 68 years of history oh. you know I'm, I mean and you're involved in 68 years of, of what's going on here so there's been a lot of blood sweat and tears poured into this event and uh, you know we just we, we, we hope people come support that and uh, and I know that that regatta has uh, it certainly has been something around my life I mean 1950 there's a lot of people born between then and now mm -hmm. and and this is a part of the community uh, again one of our biggest reunion spots and uh, throughout the year a lot of other festivals have popped up between then and now sure. um, but you know we, we want to keep trucking on and and, and we want to make sure that, that that we entertain people give them what they're wanting and get looking for but come back home this is what we're asking to come back home and be a part of something that's been here all of your life. Uh, before we get to our last break here, let's talk about some of the uh, events that are going to be happening before the boats get here because the regatta is a week-long festival. On Monday, you we have the Miss Madison Regatta Scholarship Pageant, correct? Miss Madison Regatta Scholarship Pageant, yes. I, I think I, I know right now that that scholarship is, is it starts out at a thousand dollars. I think they've got some other sponsorships to go into that. Um, so great opportunity for, for girls to come get some sponsor or some some uh, some money. You know, you win and and uh, and colleges coming up. You know things like that to get paid for all that bid so there's scholarship money out there available so so if you're holding off and, and deciding whether you do or you don't want to do this I mean there's one contestant right now in the newspaper said last night so you got a you know you, you got a good chance of winning a thousand dollars so <laughs> sign up and get down there and, and get busy and get ready um, on Tuesday is the water ball fight of course one of your favorite events especially when you're standing out in the middle of the road with the water hose so. absolutely it's a good time you know <laughs> it, it's it's really a time in my mind for the local fire guys to, to, to get to kind of show off and, and get a little bit back from the community I mean they they, they volunteer their time all year long to something that very few people would do is go into a burning building and mm -hmm. try to put that out. So come out and support them. I mean, I mean they support you all year long. If you're in a car crash, you're, you, you have a medical emergency, you, you have a fire at your home, they show up and they don't ask anything for that at all. Um, so come out and support the guys and, and, uh, and cheer them on and, and, uh, and, and show some appreciation for what they do all year long for you. Mm -hmm. And that's Tuesday down in front of uh, the courthouse on Main Street. Uh, Wednesday is street dance, correct? Wednesday is the WRX street dance and, and, uh, and you got to come down and watch Jordan Bear do some dancing out there on, on <laughs> Vaughn Drive. Uh, I don't know about that. Although there is that video of me still going yes, viral for some reason. Yes, there is. I need to get rid of that. I need to find a. I need to delete that video. I really do. Um, 
<laughs> and then Thursday, what am I missing? Is Thursday the golf scramble or is that Friday? It's Friday's the golf scramble. So Thursday we, we have uh, free music in the park. Uh, we've got some local bands that are coming down. They're going to be playing on the big stage just like the, you know, the bigger bands that we have coming in from out of town for the weekend. Um, so don't miss that. Uh, Thursday evening also at the same time in inside Bicentennial Park as well. All, the, all, the, all that music on Thursday is going to be handled in Bicentennial Park. It mm -hmm. doesn't cost anything. Um, w w there, there will be no carry-in, carry-out alcohol sales down there. So okay. I, I know some people have expressed some, uh, you know, some discontent about that. Uh, it's inside Bicentennial Park for the rest of the weekend down at Regatta. You can still bring your coolers like you've done always, mm -hmm. so, so no worries there, um, but just inside Bicentennial Park. New event we're adding this year, so it's, it's going to be the inaugural, and let me make sure I get the name here right, it's the Mad Craft Homebrew Society. Okay. So MCHS are the initials, and uh, something that we want to get started. Uh, I know there's a lot of home brew people here, so it's going to be kind of a, a bottle share slash kind of contest. At some point, maybe we'll pick a winner or whatever. And, and uh, but lots of people are into the, their home brew stuff. They'll bring their bottles, and we'll share, and we'll talk. And and, uh, and I know craft beer is becoming a big thing here in town oh. with a couple of brewers opening up. So so uh, you know a lot of people excited about that. Yeah, that that's going to be a really fun event. Uh, Friday, that kind of begins the process of. Uh, the Madison Regatta itself. There are going to be no. There's going to be no action on the water Friday, but then there's the golf scramble in the morning, and then that night you have the parade. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I think 10 o'clock is when the golf scramble is going to start. If I, if I remember right, I think all that information is on the website mm -hmm. for sure. Um, just in case I get a time wrong. Uh, and then and then Friday for us is is I you know we call it Free Friday, Fan Friday, whatever you want to call it. We're opening up the pits. Uh, of course, there'll be some barricades between actual boats and, and, sure. and all that bit. But boat teams are going to be down there greeting fans and, and, uh, and talking about their sport, talking about their boat. You, you can come down and get a close-up look at that stuff. Uh, and the, the, the RC club is going to be there. I just left yesterday uh, talking to, uh, to the uh, five to the five guys. They're going to try to get a couple of their boats down there so people can kind of get up close and personal. We're a, we're, we're a boat racing town, and we've been for 68 years now. So we want to bring all these groups together, partner with them, and, and make this a, a really great show for all of us. And and, and, and even though these things are much different, I mean, radio control boats versus fire to the five boats versus unloaded hydroplanes and GPWs, uh, it's all boat racing, and, and we've been fans of boat racing around Madison for decades. Mm -hmm. And the, and, uh, the Grand Marshal, I will say this, the Grand Marshal of the Parade this year, that is one Romeo Lankford. Absolutely. What a humble kid. You know, I mean, oh, he's, he he's, came here, uh, you know, he, uh, Jeffersonville's, or, I'm sorry, New Albany's part of our conference. He signed autographs, n not until it was time for him to get on the bus and leave, yeah. until the last person was in line and he signed autographs. So, I mean, so what a great catch for us, and, and uh, you know, so so for those people who have, have done a great job in lining that up, uh -huh. well done, and uh, and what an ambassador. But the one thing that is huge, not only for the Madison Regatta, but all festivals, are sponsorships. You couldn't do it without them. We absolutely could not do this. You know, Rick Russell and, and Midwest Tube Mills has really stepped up to the plate this year. They've, they've been fabulous partners. I mean, Rick, Rick is so involved in the community here, and, and, and we couldn't be more happy for them to be our title sponsor. You know, there are a lot of years that we didn't have a title sponsor, and, and, and this guy just stepped up and knocked it out of the park for us. So uh, well done, Rick and Midwest Tube Mills. So if anybody sees him out at the ballparks watching his, his grandkids play ball, all that bit, then, then stop by and, 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 and tell him thanks. Um, because, I mean, we literally couldn't have this event without him. Uh, North Vernon Beverages is a big sponsor. They've been around for decades. So, you know, the Budweiser guys have been around mm -hmm. forever here. Um, you know, uh, Clifty Engineering is a big sponsor for us. Um, Quaffon uh, is sp sponsoring the music. They're out of uh, Nashville, um, a brewery up there. So, I mean, we're really excited about all these people that's come on board. I, I wish I had a list in front of me to name all of them, um, but unfortunately, probably we don't have time. We've sure. we got a lot of people involved, and, and I'll say that the sponsorship team's done an amazing job this year out beating streets, you know, beating street and, and getting money from people and, 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 and forming partnerships. This is what we're about this year is, is forming relationships and partnerships with these businesses and people rather than just show up with our hand out like most people do. They catch a check, they walk off and they leave and, and, and we want to make this a lasting event and we want to make them lasting partners and we, and we want to partner with them to make sure that, that we take care of their needs and, and also take care of ours and, 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 and really see both of our successes um, you know, equal out to, to, to being a good thing for both of us. Mm. A couple minutes left here. Um, music, obviously music and uh, um, the Rooster Tail Music Festival. Uh, some of the bands that are going to be in Madison. Who are they? Uh, let's say our, our big headliner for. Uh, uh, so I'm trying to, to remember the, the rundown here. There's a reggae band on Friday night. Uh, um, you can just do the headliners. Yeah, the, the headliners on the Reverend Peyton will be uh, Friday night. Will be the big one. He was here last year. Not my genre of music, but they are fabulous entertainers. They are just a fun band to watch. Um, Saturday, uh, Turnpike Troubadours. Uh, you know, I'm a great band. I'm not a country music guy, but again, these guys are great entertainers. Their music is good. They're upcoming, and, and if you don't know who the Turnpike Troubadours 
flavors are, then you're, you're, you're probably going to very soon because they're just really catching on like wildfire. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and again, I mean, we, we can't do any of this without the fans here in Madison. You know, I'm, I mean, there's 30 some thousand people on the streets on, on uh, you know, Friday night to watch that parade. Um, so buy your wristbands, come down, be a part of the whole weekend, not just a parade, and, uh, and make sure that we, we keep Madison's biggest reunion, uh, you know, going on for another couple of years. So we're looking forward to everybody being there, and thanks for the support, and, and please buy those wristbands early and come down. Farmers Almanac says the weather's going to be great, and, and I, I believe that more than I do, the weather guy. So. <laughs> well, I certainly hope so. Uh, we, need a, we need a great regatta. Matt True, appreciate it. This is always going to be a great event. Best of luck to you, brother. Thank you, sir.